Okay, Pat, so when you open up the Google Earth KMZ that I send you uh, in Google Earth, you should see something that looks like this. Uh, it's the reservation boundary, essentially, according to Woofdis. Um, you might need to turn off the photos and stuff to get rid of some of the points uh, on the map, so you can, under layers here, turn off the photos. Um, I don't know if you need to turn off boundaries or you can turn off whatever you need to clean up the map. Um, but then, you know, you can zoom and pan and do all the cool stuff that you want. But so basically, um, Pine Ridge will actually probably show up under your temporary places and that's okay. Um, wherever it shows up is, is just fine. So to create a polygon, um, probably the first thing to do would be to right click on temporary places and say add a folder and then just call this um, timber and say OK. So now you've got a timber folder and then you can right click on that and say add a polygon. That'll give you this window, which you can kind of move to the side because that's just, <clears throat> excuse me, that's basically the um, uh, information about the layer. So you might name it first, so you could call it Timber 1, and then go to Style and Color and say, I only want it to be outlined, and then you can choose a color, maybe we'll outline it in red just so it's easy to see while we're drawing and then you can bump up this outline width to 1.7 or whatever you want um, and then don't hit OK to that because as soon as you hit OK you won't be able to draw but now you can use your um, use these to uh, zoom in and so you can zoom into your area and then start clicking so click 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 uh, and that'll let you draw, uh, draw as you go. Um, what you can do if you make a mistake and you need to go back uh, and erase those points, you can do uh, Control Z, as in um, uh, Zorro, and what that will do is that'll back you out of it. Actually, it's not Control Z; it's a right mouse click. So if you right mouse click, that'll take you back. So if I draw a bunch of points, right mouse click takes me back. Um, so basically, you just kind of go along and you do like you did with your PDF. <coughs> um, and you can basically draw your, draw your polygons in there. Double click ends it. So if you double click, it ends the polygon creation. And then you just say, OK. So that adds under the timber folder, timber one. So same process, right click, add polygon, timber two, style and color. It re remembered it on mine, so that might do the same for you, the 1.7 and only outlined. So then you just draw another one. La -di -da -di -da -di -da -di -da -di da There you go. And then say OK. So once you get all of your timber polygons built, then you right click on the folder name. And you can, well, I'm sorry, you can say, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. You select the timber polygon and then go up to File save, save place as, and then that'll prompt you as to where you want to save it, so you can save it on your desktop or wherever. This is the file you're going to send to me. So right clicking on timber, the timber folder, file, save place as, and leave it set to KMZ, and you can call it Pine, Pine Ridge, Timber FMZ or something. Um, go ahead and save that, and then just email me that uh, that file when you're done. Um, I'll turn it into a shape file, so I'll send the shape file back to you. But uh, 
that should get you there. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. But give me a call if you have any questions. I'm around. So, cheers.